Boom, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Check who we have here. Bye, long time. Oi, what's that? Oh, show us the glue in the dark. Glue in the dark. But yeah, anyways, right now we're just waiting for BM1 and it's currently raining, as you can see. I don't even know what we're doing, but you know, I thought I'll bring the camera along and yeah. So I'll catch you guys when we find out what we're doing, eh? We just got the stupid cheap auto. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> do it again, do it again. <laughs> Wait, do you remember what this? You know what it is? What? Huh? The thing, like, Nino, Nino. <laughs> you know what this is? It's the, it's the bike shit. The bike shit. Oh, the squeezing one. They're like, Nino, Nino. <laughs> Alright, guys, so as you saw, we just got to Super Cheap. We just finished up. So, as you can see here, we've got more headlight restoration kit because I think Mun and Hank's gonna do their headlights. And also, guys, it was on special. I had some credit on my card, so why not get this GPS heads up display system? I don't know if it's accurate or not. I read reviews, people said that it's not too accurate, but fuck it, hey, it was on special. So, yeah, let's go home and test it out. Alright, guys, we're back home. Gonna head to the HQ, but first, gotta pick up the S2K. And down. And we say GX5 meetup. Wow, that's clean. Shit. Alright guys, so like I said before in the car, what we're going to be doing today is trying to restore Mun's BMW X5 headlights and Hank's DC5 headlight as well. And also guys, like I said, you know, had some super cheap auto credit, so I thought Miles would buy this heads up display and try it on. But first things first, we're going to restore both headlights. So yeah, let's go. Wow, he's already looking a hundred times way better. Yeah? Shit. Huh? Oh, CG's guy wearing white socks. <laughs> <laughs> you don't wear white socks, bro. I want to wear white socks. Bro, these are, these are um, four locker, man. 20 bucks for three. Bro, that's a bargain, bro. Yeah. That's a bargain. <laughs> so, guys, I know I've done like three, two videos on this already, but bear with me. It's going to be the same thing. But I've never actually done something like this before. Jeez, bad. This is pretty bad. So, a new experience, huh? Bro, how do you hold it when you hold it? Like this? Yeah. Hold it like this. Yeah. Like, oh, what's up, yeah. boys? <laughs> Wait. It's your favorite brown boy with your man Kong. Oh! Good to hear, boys. Yeah, where have you been, Hack? Like, everyone huh? asking for you. Well, I've been out of the country. They kicked me out, but came back in. Let me step on my foot. And there you go, there you have it. Look at that. Damn, look at that. Damn. 100 times way better. Bro, I don't even need to wipe it now. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> the same, <bro. laughs> Ooh. Alright guys, so I guess the compound didn't work, so we're going to move into the next step. And keep in mind, this is my first time, so... I hope this actually works. So basically, you're going to use pad number one, which is the green side, with this spray, and you go to number two, and then number three, and number four. And it's usually just a back and forth motion, and then each pad you change. So first pad left and right, up and down. <laughs> Let's get it. Oh, it's better already. Oh, signing it down? Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey. How are you, bro? I gotta get back more to get full body. You're fucking off, cunt. <laughs> it's not the right type of song. You've got the kicks. Oh, you've got the kicks. Okay. Oh, the kicks when you do it. I'm going to do it. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Oh, Oh, I got it. Oh, Oh, I got it. Oh, I got it. Oh, I got I don't think I need to get arm day tonight. Yeah, do you reckon this is worth it? Uh, I reckon. But either way guys, like mine said, it's better than how we first received it. It's way shinier now, and like I said, you can't <laughs> even feel the difference anymore. <laughs> what are you shiny <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, moment of truth A. Mine's gonna pull out the X5, and let's see the results. Uh. It looks more wider, but you can still see the haziness. But it's not as yellow as before now. Say GBM1 V8. This is Hax1. As you can see, it's not as bad as Mun's X5, but it still needs some work. So we're lucky enough we can get away with just the compound because you can't actually feel it. Yeah, you can't actually feel it. Like the X5 you can feel the roughness, but this one still pretty smooth. Heck bro, you sound puff, bro. No, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> that's that's A one um buffing technique. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so while hack cream pies over his new headlights, let's go ahead and unbox this head up display unit. <laughs> So you get the reflectors, so this reflects off the speed that you're going and you get the sticky mat so the device doesn't go away. So yeah, so you get the reflectors, the sticky mat, the actual device and the 12 volt socket that it plugs into. Sickers. Yeah, so yeah, let's suss this out on the S2K and go for a drive. Alright. Turn the car on. Yeah, try to turn the car on. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear that click. Oh, hey! 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 First shot! First shot! First shot! Yeah, see, we can store shit. Yeah, we can store shit. <laughs> Fuck, imagine this, brother. Yeah, for now, for now, but look. Yeah, yeah, yeah for now, for now. Not as bright, maybe with the reflector, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Interesting. You can sort of see it from here. Oh, hey! Shit! That's fucking so, lit. And it's accurate! Because I'm zero and zero. Oh, oh, Holy shit! Shit! Hey, you reckon it's worth it? You reckon it's worth it? We have to take it for a test drive. Let me Bye, guys. So, as you can see right here, you can see it. I think I might place it in the middle. It looks the best. So, it's pretty sick how you, from the outside you can't really see it on the window, but in the inside you can full see it. And what the boys were saying from the back, you can actually see it right there. Not too sure if you guys can see, it's not as clear, but where I'm pointing to right now, that's the window and it reflects the speed. Remember when Hack went the SDK? Yeah, the phase. Hang on to the SDK. Bro, you look good in there, bro. You look good. Yeah, G. Randy? Randy? Whoa. Wow. Oh, boosted. 
Damn. Oh, where'd you get that new speeder thing? Fuck, I'm gonna go from oh, ZPG garage. Right there. Damn. Mm. Must be thing. nice. Must be nice. Damn, look at that. It's looking 100 times way better. <laughs> clean, my clean. Alright, guys, so this is nighttime test of that new GPS device I got. Eight kilometers, eight kilometers. Look at that, eight and eight. Okay. Holding about 37 is 37, 33, 35, 33, holding it at 35. So it's about, we'll say, two kilometers difference right now. I hope you guys can see it. Look at that. Alright guys, we're about to hit the main road, so let's test it. So we're going to travel about 75 to 80, I'm going to try and hold it my best and then we can get an accurate reading. Alright, so as you can see right here, it is still displaying about four, 3 to 4 kilometers difference. But look at that, it does lag as you can see. So right now it's displaying 75 while I'm traveling at 70. So once again, I'm traveling at 72 now, or 70, and it will display about 73 as well. So yep guys, that's going to do it for today's video. A big thank you if you actually made it this far into the video because I know this video was hella random. But also just before I end this video, I want to quickly give my thoughts on this new uh, display system that I got. As you saw, I went to Super Cheap Auto, got some extra credit in my card. So I thought I'll pick this up. So basically, I just want to say this is a pretty good device. It's a pretty sick device how it works. As you see, it shines onto the window and it displays the speed. So I just reckon it's a pretty cool device for you and your passengers to see. However, the downside is it does tend to lag. So as you saw in the video before, my speeder will climb up or go down and about two or three seconds later then this will start to change and the other downside is that this gps unit does display about a three to five kilometers difference it was displaying higher than i was actually traveling which i guess it's better than this displaying lower and you know me getting caught for speeding but like i said i kind of wish that it was displaying properly i don't know if that's just you know my tire wear because i do know that does play effect in how your speedo reads but then i read the reviews and people did have trouble as well but their one was worse it was showing about a five to ten kilometers difference so overall this is a pretty sick device as you can see right here it's currently on and hopefully in the video before you guys can see it properly because i actually forgot to put on the reflector so it couldn't really shine properly but it still showed but with the reflector it's 100 times way better so if i had to describe this unit in a few ways i would say it's a pretty sick device to have it's a pretty cool gadget how it works you know it just shines on your window and it displays the speed and i reckon it's just a pretty sick gadget for you and your passengers to look at but i wouldn't really rely on it also guys, just before end of vlog, just remember that the pre-orders on these ZPG shirts are about to finish. So you have about until September the 1st at 5pm to order these. After that, they won't be available anymore. I'll have some in stock, but they're going to be very limited. So remember, if you don't want to miss out, make sure to hit the pre-order so then you don't miss out. And also guys, don't forget to give this video a fat like, P-H-A-T, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Laters!
Oh, oh shit, my man. We just got the stupid do it, cheap one. Oh. We just got the stupid cheap auto. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> do it again, do it again.